So I cleaned all my brushes. We're gonna do a quick get ready with me and test a new foundation. This is the Maybelline Dream Cushion foundation this is in caramel 55 y'all know i love well y'all don't know this but i do love cushion foundations and i think i'm going to try some this year and let you guys know what i think about it but yes and i love my lineage so i have three currently kind of want to collect some more is that a bad thing um cushion foundations are really good for i feel like the woman on the go so um, I'm going to right now let me use a primer I need to find out where I can get this the Revita Lift Moisture Blur I have been loving it. it's from the drugstore it has a creamy texture I'm gonna try using the pad y'all know how I feel about that this is how it looks it looks like Maybelline I'm gonna be honest with you usually has off shades with me i've noticed they have more pink this let me thin this out because i can tell you right now this is a little bit too dark this would probably be great in the summer but the other shade i think it was honey beige or something looked way too light i can make this work just because i'll show you But I can tell you in shade out of everything, the Lumi Cushion and the Laneige. I, Laneige just gets it for me because it already has the SPF in it. But we're just doing a wear test today. They are usually off in shades and more pink than golden for me. At least in these. The only one that has been perfect in shade is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless or the Dewy Smooth and the Better Skin, but the, my, my skin doesn't like the Better Skin. And I'm going to tell you something about cushion foundation. This is great to take with you. I mean, I like how they're pressed into the skin kind of thing. Okay, I feel like that that's a good layer. I mean, it gives okay coverage. I mean, the Lumi Cushion. This is super tanned. I feel like the Lumi, I can tell you right now, Felt a lot hydrating. I can remember good foundations. But this one does look good on my skin, I feel like. Gotta see how much I paid for this, too. Just taking it over the lid. We're just basically doing a wear test on this foundation today. And we'll see how it goes. Let's see how much this wears um, and we'll see what the claims are to this and the coverage. We tried it today on day one with a, we'll say a moisturizing and smoothing primer. And then tomorrow I'll probably come, I probably won't use a primer at all and see how it works. Okay, bye guys. This is like every day. This is not like beat face. I use the sponge today. I think I'm going to try the brush tomorrow just to see if I can build up some coverage. But this is like not even medium, I don't feel like. This is like sheer. Like I could get more coverage from my face and body or my water blend by Makeup Forever than what I have right now. So. I'm going to see if I can build up the coverage tomorrow. Today I use a sponge. Right now it is 9.22 and I just finished putting on everything and walking out of the house. So we'll see. Okay, so y'all see this is oily. 
Oh. I was done with everything around 9, 9.22, 9, yeah, so like, what's that, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, about 6 hours. So this is not a long lasting, I hope that's not the claim. When it says long lasting, I want to mean like all day. But this is definitely one that would just be like on the weekends. I already know, so. Okay, so this is day two using the, it's raining outside, using the Maybelline cushion. And this is with no primer. So I'm going to see how it works. Yesterday I got about five and a half, six hour wear and very oily around the nose. And that was with a primer. So this is with no primer. I did moisturize and of course use my, S, my SPF as normal. Um, but this is with no primer and I actually kind of like it without any primer and I did not powder my whole entire face I powdered under my eyes I used bronzer blush but I did not use a powder over my face yesterday I did so this is with no primer no powder today and I have normal to dry skin so we'll see how it works sometimes not powdering at all will work and then sometimes it needs to be powdered so we'll see so we are back after doing our quick glam and the complexion part is fine for me this would be a run out the door if you want something fresh quick easy run out the door um, it'll last maybe about I would say five to six hours then this is the foundation for you for me I want something a little bit long-lasting where it doesn't bleed through if you have very dry skin you're going to love this foundation this cushion foundation by Maybelline I mean honestly just for the sake of shade selection I would go with the Lumi cushion by L'Oreal they're about the same price I think I paid $15.99 at Ulta but of course I used a coupon but you can do the same thing with the L'Oreal in my opinion I would definitely go with the Lumi cushion it is way more luminous and it lasts all day to me I feel like the formulation is a bit better and the color range is a bit better and it matches me perfectly W5.5 I am 55 caramel and dream cushion but as you could tell I had to tone it down a lot I felt like because it was too dark the other one was too light but I had to use like a brightening concealer so I hope you guys enjoyed this nope or dope. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what foundation you guys want to see next. I'll put a poll over here and I'll also do a poll on Twitter. I've been pretty good with Twitter and I've also changed my Snapchat. So make sure you go check me out on Snapchat. Melissa Q007. Yes. So I will see you guys in the next few days in another video.